G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. This is just a bit of a quick follow-up video to my video from yesterday, Redevio and Linux, the fork of uh, Debian. You know I like an operating system when I decide to permanently install it on hardware, and that's what I'm doing at the moment. This is my beloved Dell Inspiron 1520 laptop. My network admin and repair workhorse unit. And uh, yesterday afternoon after I had uh, recorded that video, I really started to play with Devview and Linux. And I really, really got to love it very quickly. Saying that, we know my love of KDE Neon, and I can tell you something, people. This is very close to overtaking it. This is extremely close to overtaking KDE Neon Linux as my favourite Linux uh, distribution. Um, two laptops of mine have got uh, KD, uh, Linux on them. One laptop has a partition with KDE Neon on it, and this now has a partition with Devuan. This also has a Windows uh, Professional 32 bit. Uh, Windows 7 professional partition. Now let me explain why I have not got rid of my Windows partition. Simply because if I'm going somewhere that has a Windows server, it's just easy to do uh, network admin on Windows through the Windows partition. If I'm going somewhere that runs Unix or Linux servers, I can use Devuan to do the um, network admin so to speak, through either SSH or uh, VNC or something like that. But the fact that I started to really enjoy working with Devu and Linux um, meant that I decided I was going to permanently install it on hardware. Guys, look, I really recommend you go and have a look at this. Um, it's a big call for me to say this, but I think this is in some cases, a bit better than Debian. Uh, as we saw in my previous video, the time between you turning your computer on and to the login screen, all right? Now, my small form factor took 10 seconds to post and 20 seconds to load into the login screen. A total of 30 seconds on two gig of RAM. This is basically uh, pretty much the same. It's a Intel Centrino. Again, only two gig of RAM. But nevertheless, because of the lightweightness of this Linux distribution, it is fucking quick. Um, so I really recommend you go and have a play with it. Um, as I said, it, it I can't get over how easy this is to use. Um, it is very close to becoming my favourite Linux distribution over KDE Neon Linux. Now, that's a big call for me because we know I love KDE. But this is just, this is next level. I seriously. Um, so that's that's what, I, what I've ended up doing um, because I thought, well, this is what I use to go around to, you know, consult on servers and look at servers and all that type of stuff. And the reason I do that is so that I'm not disturbing the server itself. I can do everything remotely whilst inside the building and I'm not interfering with the actual server itself. I can do it, if you want to say remotely or whatever. And so, as I said, the reason I'm leaving Windows on here as well is purely because if I'm running, if I'm going to a place that's got a Windows server, it's just easy to set up RDC on Windows. And if I'm going to a somewhere where I've got to use a console, I've got a Linux thing here. Now, the only downside to this laptop is it does not have a uh, DB9 on it, which means, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get one of those um, USB to DB9 RS232 uh, converter plugs, which I'm, I'm sceptical about them sometimes, so I'm going to have to track one down. But as I said, this is great. It really is a root-roaring operating system. Um, the other thing too is, and I've, I've only just realised this as I was about to record this video, my other laptop 
which has a Linux partition on it, actually has KDE Neon on it. And I said, I think, in the profile or the product review of KDE Neon that I would actually probably install it onto hardware. And I did. And I made a video of it. The downside is I've never uploaded that video. I don't know why. I forgot to. So I'll get that one up as well, and we can have a look at KDE actually on hardware. But um, I'll tell you what, I'd love it. <laughs> I'd love it if these guys who who are the development team of Devuan were able to get Devuan to work on the e-server. How good would that be? End up being able to have Linux on my E49. It'd be fantastic. Um, that'd be a, a dream. Okay, we know that. But anyway, um, so... Guys, look, go out and have a look at it for yourselves. Um, I think it, I personally think it's a great system. Um, the flavor's available, how lightweight it is, and, um, yeah, really, really good. So go out and have a look at it for yourselves. And as I said, I'll upload the KDE Neon on hardware video uh, probably tonight or tomorrow, depending on my internet here. Um, so go and have a look at it. Uh, even if you want to do a bit of virtualization and test it in a virtual world before you decide to put it on hardware, that might be a good idea to make sure you like it. That way you're not buggerizing around with any hardware. So um, if you're going to go and test it, do it virtually or get uh, VirtualBox or whatever. Go and make a virtual machine of it. See if you like it. And if you do like it, put it onto hardware. Um, if you're a bit like me and you're lazy, you could do a dual boot setup with Grub. Uh, but if you like it enough and you are a Linux nut, go and put it onto full-blown hardware. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Oh, before I forget too, some of the Dell Inspirons, and you're putting this on it, the Wi-Fi doesn't always work. You will have to use the uh, Ethernet port, but you can get the drivers, I believe, for the Wi-Fi in these, which I think is it's either Intel or Broadcom, one of the two. I can never remember. But anyway, I'll leave it at that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.